Keep it up like you did yesterday. Great day. Let's let's keep it. Oh, whoa. All right now. All right. Little U dub. I love it, man. I do. I do. Uh, I'm assuming that you uh, are also a U dub boy. Uh, I'm a fan. Uh, Mom and dad both uh, U dubbers. Um, and uh, uh, one of my brothers out of 10. And the other one was Wazoo. I am sorry about that. I don't know why. Let's, oh, Johnny is here. Let's rock and roll. Let's bring the stud in. What's up, Mike? What up, Playboy? How you doing, brother? I am good. I am good. Thanks for hanging out today. Of course. Always a pleasure. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with, uh, I would like to know what's going on this week over at Titan Medical, Kirkland, Cougars. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um, what's going on over at Titan Medical for the um, treatment of the week, the therapy sure. of the week? Sure. Therapy of the week. So we actually got, we've got, I guess it's like a, a two-way streak here. Therapy of the week is Nectar of the Gods this week. So that's where you get the $25 off. The gods. Actually, I think we're offering $50 off of Nectar of the Gods. So instead of $275, you get it for $225 and it'd be 30 injections. And Nectar of the Gods, you know, people ask me, so what's the difference with Nectar of the Gods? And like, let's say Hercules Potion, right? And that one is, it's a very similar mix. So it, it takes out two components that are in Hercules Potion, ornithine and L-citrulline, and we replaced it with glutathione. So you have oh. arginine, glutamine, glutathione, NAC, lysine, proline, taurine, L-carnitine. So it has a pretty similar mix. So what is it good for? It's good for recovery with glutamine. Arginine is going to help create that blood flow. And then you have really great immunity properties in here. One with glutathione, super antioxidant, great daily dose. Um, and at that point, the other thing is lysine. So lysine is going to help build the immune system even more. And then you have NAC, which is great for liver function. So glutathione is also great for liver function. So if you have a fatty liver or if you're, you're having issues with the liver or anything like that, this get, can give you some liver support as well along with what you're doing. And you have proline for collagen, taurine, like we talked about before, for cramping and brain function. And then you have L-carnitine for muscle building, nervous system, blood flow, and a number of other things. So it's a really, really great mixture that you can utilize. And if you wanted glutathione, but you wanted some of the other products too as well, like Hercules, you kind of get the best of both worlds. It's a smaller dosage of glutathione daily than you would take the 200 milligrams, but you get a lot of other bang for the buck in there that's going to work synergistically together to give you an all around better effect, make you feel better, right? Help build the immune system, more energy, blood flow, like I said, recovery in the whole nine. So you get a lot of out of nectar of the gods. The other thing. So we've launched another new product. Now, same product. It's an ECA stack plus but we're calling this the Hermes version. And basically we've upped the caffeine to 300 milligrams and we've upped the ephedrine to 30 milligrams. So we know that daily dose is 400 milligrams. So uh, this I'm would sorry, be good. The name again? Huh? Hermes. Hermes, so the Hermes was Greek a Greek god? god? Hermes. Wasn't he a Greek god? Yep, he was a Greek god of, of messaging. So fly, he had wings on his feet. Okay. So if you're looking to fly like Hermes, this is the therapy for you. It's going to be great for energy. One, you're going to get great energy from this. Great fat burning properties, thermogenesis with this too as well. Plus also uh, enhanced mental clarity. So at that point, you'd be more in tune, more laser focused, paying attention a lot more, not dozing off. And you're burning fat while you're doing it. And this is great for workouts too as well. So I, I take one back for a second. Sure. On the Hermes, can you give me the breakdown again? Yep. 30 milligrams of ephedrine, HCL, real ephedrine, not ephedrine bark or all extract or any things. The supplement companies are trying to push out over the counter. This is a prescription drug. You can only get ephedrine by prescription because of the ban before. So right. that's one. Two, caffeine. So we've raised the caffeine from 200 milligrams to 300 milligrams in this dose. Okay. Right. And then you have 30 milligrams of aspirin. And that's just for blood flow, no heart palpitations. That's Why? Why only 30? What, so, what is a baby aspirin? A baby aspirin is 81 milligrams. Okay. And this is 30. This is 30. Okay. So 
you know, basically at that point, if they did take two pills, they'd still be under the daily dose of the small dose. And that's why we did it. You don't okay. need a whole bunch of aspirin in this to, to make it more effective. The aspirin is helping literally blood flow, heart palpitations. Um, some people are allergic to aspirin. So if you're allergic to aspirin, wow. We, wow. we can make this without aspirin too as well. Wow. Any of these combinations. So, you know, we have to look at that and say, listen, you know, do you have any allergies or anything? And like right. people know right away, like, hey, listen, I, I cannot have aspirin. So yeah, at that point, we cut the aspirin out of the dose. But for everybody else, 30 milligrams. Before you continue on this, I want to stay on this one just for a second to catch these guys up because you already have something that is at Titan Medical. And I know that for me, this makes me excited. Yes. Because I, I am, I can handle caffeine. I can handle uh, uh, stimulants like this. Yep. Mona cannot, and I know a lot of people that cannot handle it, but there is, there is now, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. three different levels of this similar, yeah, right? Four actually now, this, this will make four. Yeah, so okay. we have our low dose, which is our pink, and that has, um, you know, it has basically like, um, 100 milligrams of caffeine, so it's very, very low. It has, yeah. uh, you know, 12.5 milligrams of ephedrine, which is half the dose of the right. high. Uh, and then it has 30 milligrams of aspirin. Right. These all have 1,000 micrograms of B12 and 1,000 micrograms of chromium too as well. And oh, what good. these do is, is these complement the energy side and boost the metabolism yeah. side. So, uh, you know, when you go with the high dose, which is the blue and white pill, that's 25 milligrams of ephedrine, 200 milligrams of caffeine, 30 milligrams of aspirin, 1,000 micrograms of B12, and 1,000 micrograms of chromium. After that, you go up to the red bombs. The red bombs, 25 milligrams. Uh, actually, yeah, it's 25 milligrams of ephedrine, and then it's 225 milligrams of caffeine. This also has 5 milligrams of yohimbine in the back end of it. So, And then you have the, the aspirin, the B12, and the chromium. And that was level go, three. This is and, level four. Yeah, and, and then this will be level four. The You know, I, I say like man, the, maybe Hermes and the red bombs are on the same level to a certain degree because, yeah, on the Hermes, you're getting more ephedrine and you're getting more caffeine, but you're not getting the Johan bean that's in the red bomb. And the Johan bean backs it and, as you know, can help stimulation it. too as well. It can be an aphrodisiac too as well if you don't take too much. Um, and at that point it works very, very well. So, you know, we have something for everybody and, and we can have some different mixtures in there. I could see the Hermes adding the Yohan bean in the, in the, the forefront in the future too, as well, because I'll be taking it. So I'm going to add that in there and just see how I feel off it. You know, is it too much? Is it okay for somebody like us? Um, and just see where we go there. But I think that would be, that would be, you know, the next level for somebody, but you know, we always like somebody to try the pink one or the blue and white one because you know, if you take too much at one time, like right, you take a too high of a dose for you, you're going to be overstimulated and that's not a good feeling for anybody, right? You can get heart palpitations, anxiety, uh, cold sweats, um, you know, you don't feel good, nausea, like all these different things. So we do not want people to be overstimulated. We want to get the good dose for them and everybody's different, right? So yeah. and it doesn't matter how big you are, how small you are. It just depends on who you are and what your tolerance is to stimulants. So, and a lot of people know, but what I can say too is different is because this is something that a lot of people do. A lot of people have went to, you know, these big box stores and got over the counter, uh, fat burners, thermogenesis, fat burning. And these things have caused a number of different problems for people health wise. And even Sharice, before we started, she was taking these things. She had to go to the hospital. I mean, the whole night because it was that bad of heart palpitations and stuff like that. So this is not that you won't have to worry about that. This will be good, clean energy without you bouncing off the walls um, and like a ping pong ball. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. And you're not going to get nauseous. You're not going to want to have to go to the bathroom. And, and, you know, when you get to the gym, that's the other thing with pre-workouts, so right? You get nausea or you possibly get stomach issues where you have to go to the bathroom and nobody wants to go to their gym bathroom. I promise you. Uh, okay. So, yeah, just for everybody that's here again, this is I've, – I've spoken of this. Uh, um, because I was, I was, I was, uh, on my mission to be in yeah. incredible shape and I can live in that ugliness of, of, uh, not feeling good knowing that, that, that is good. Um, yeah. because the calories are low and I'm exercising and it just goes with it. 
And then uh, it wasn't even you. It was Cherie just goes, hey, uh, got something for you. Sent it out. <laughs> and, and man, what a change that did to my training, to my day and my relationship. Yeah. It was a threefold. And if you guys don't understand that, it's um, I think a lot of you will. When you give those workouts everything, you really do dip. And that means work suffers a little bit. Maybe the relationship suffers a little bit when you're so, uh, as we call it here, um, a full-time bodybuilder. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, what yeah. do you do? You go train, then you lay on the couch the rest of the day, and you eat your meals, and then you go back the next day. Well, I, I can't live that lifestyle. Right. Um, and, and so – yeah, it, it changed all three aspects of me. It didn't just help my workout. It helped my clarity in the mind. It helped my business. It helped my uh, relationships. And it kept me focused throughout the whole day. And it removed some other things. So don't, don't, that's a big one. And I think Johnny hit it out of the park. Don't get overstimulated. You know, right. yeah, right. don't be riding. And if I'm correct, Jeff, okay. you were... You were a uh, uh, oh, yeah. an energy drink bang kind of guy I, for I, a, a year or so. I'd call it a heavy user. A heavy user. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> bang energy. I was doing like four a day, and those are 300 a pop. So, and after a while, it wasn't doing anything for him. Right. It was actually, uh, it was drinking a bang was more effective than a melatonin. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a study we should talk about in the future Scary. about how if you do so much it goes the other way, of course. Um, and and again the receptors, but they taste good. But they taste good. <laughs> the receptors are an amazing thing, amazing right. thing, man. But they they're there to protect you, right? Enough. So we got those two new Hermes. I mean, even even when you start breaking down cost effectiveness, how much does a bang cost you? How much does a Red Bull cost you? Five bangs a day. How much does it cost you Five for one? What's a bang? Uh, like four bucks. Four dollars. Yeah. You, you can get ECA from anywhere from two to four dollars a pop. So that's one clean energy, no garbage in it, no crash, all good to go. I mean, that's that's where I really break down, you know, the cost effectiveness for people because even people that go to Starbucks, they go for their Frappuccino, they go for this, they're paying 18 to 20 dollars for a drink. Man, oh, so that's that's Man. yeah. I'm so that's you. you went to the gas station. You'd pick up a bang, um, one of the pills over the counter, oh, a little something for the little rhino, misses, a little rhino, rhino blue rhino. <laughs> when when Titan Medical has something much better than that, that's right, right. Superman's. <laughs> you, about, you, you know everything. That's in it. So somebody's asking this. What are your thoughts on this? Best research sources. We don't Ooh. do research, man. We do pharmaceutical human grade. There is no research sources. We're not research chemicals. So that's the other thing, you know, at that point, I know that business is thriving on the back end, but they're doing a disservice to people that are out there. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff comes from China or India and it's already pre-made per se. So people are just getting it and then shipping it out to people. So I would not, I don't mess with research sources or research chemicals. I want something that's for human consumption. Um, that's been tested and, and lab tested and I know it's going to be okay because you guys are injecting the stuff in your body, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, when you're younger, I guess you don't really, you know, I'm, you know, nothing's going to happen to me. And, and, and you think like that, but as you get older, man, you're like, all right, well, what, what am I, you really start looking at things, yeah. even alcohol to me these days. Like I'm almost to the point where I don't even want to drink no more. I, I, I physically like, I just got to make myself drink. If I want to have a drink with somebody and be social, cause I really don't crave it no more. Before when I was younger, all the time, right? But now it's a little bit different. So I think that, you know, as you get older, um, you start realizing some of these things and priorities start changing, right? And at that point, you don't want to, you don't want to, you want to mitigate risk in all situations. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I'd rather mitigate that and spend a little bit more money. Even if I was a patient or if I was a person that was out there on the back end, I would look for a legitimate source to try to get these things. If there's not a legitimate source to get these things, I'd probably stay away from it, guys. I'm just be honest with you. Because everybody out there knows on some of these source, on some of these different things, you can't get a hold of them legally. So what does that mean for something that's illegal? 
Well, they could half dose it and just make a lot more off the product like that, right? Or they don't. Now you're talking right like this reminds me of the '80s and '90s. It's it's crazy. you know everybody just say, hey, what's what's he on? What's he doing? What's hey, jump on it, go. <laughs> Just it's so it's young and, and naive and, and that nothing will hurt you. So I think that's great. And it, I don't know why my mind went to this, but when you were saying about that, and the young and, and you think nothing's going to hurt you. If somebody that is young, we've talked about this. If your body again, and he owns the company guys, if your body doesn't need, um, you know, uh, just alone. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't need it, they don't prescribe it, you know. And so if there's something that you guys are here and you just go, I just want to get jacked. There's other ways. And, and Titan Medical has things to help sure. you get muscular and help you sure. get that energy and get you stronger. Sure. So go down that road first. If there's nothing I can say to change your mind about going a different route as of right yeah. now. Yeah. But but go down and see what else they have. All these things, like he's talking about something that was huge in the '80s and '90s. This whole ephedrine, uh, aspirin, mm -hmm. caffeine was a way to uh, that was like our number one fat burner back in the uh, '80s Absolutely. and '90s. That was it until they banned ephedra. Right. Um, and so this is something I think that you guys just gotta you guys gotta really get in here and and talk to them and your medical provider because I'm gonna be calling. And to get my Hermes uh, after this. Yeah. Um, but this is just, just something he said that makes me think that you guys, I know that you're young or you're, and when I mean young, anything younger than me is young. Um, just check out what else they have. Give it some months, you know, and then if, if that doesn't change your mind, then you decide what you want to do and go down the road. But mm -hmm. if the blood work is good, Stay healthy. Stay healthy right. for the long road. If it's not good, then, then there's no debate no more. And this is right. a, another one. If, if you're against, and I and I have a lot of these guys in their mid-30s that are against it, but they have low testosterone. And I'm like, well, I'm sending them reports on all the damage. Yes. Low it's testosterone like, cause. What is this moral belief of i'm not doing that well all you're doing is going back to a level playing field so you can stay healthy so this isn't right. you're not competing stop that right. you're not competing right. for mr olympia so you right. it's no moral hey high ground right you're unhealthy take care of yourself yeah yeah i mean that's so true too and it's like you know people always i guess i was always you know that's that's always a stereotype even when i first got into this business was Hey, uh, and at that point, like I said, bigger was better for me. So I was a lot bigger back then. And at that point, like, you know, that's not what it's all about. And those people, majority of those people would never have the genetics to even get to a Mr. Olympia type form. And the other, the other part of it is a lot of these guys are not doing any of the work they need to do. They're not training. They're not eating correctly. What do you think you're going to get out of it? Even if you took all the juice in the world, all the, if you took a thousand milligrams of testosterone a week, it doesn't mean you're going to get bigger. That doesn't mean it's going to put muscle on you. So you actually have to work to get these things. It, it, unless you put in the work, you're never going to get them. And just because you put in the work doesn't mean you're going to get them either. Still doesn't mean you're going to get so it. There, there's no guarantee on, on something like this. So, you know, what we want to pro preach is, is improving quality of life, right? And that's you feeling good every day, waking up with energy, being able to do your job, being able to be on point in your mind and being able to have a good relationship with, with your partner, hopefully. And, and living a good life, right? And, and that's sleeping better, that, you know, that's exercising, that's doing all these things. Like, that's where, really what it's about. Um, so anybody that ever comes to me, that's, I automatically do that. And that's why over the years, obviously, my priorities have changed and things that I think about changed. And one that, listen, bigger is not always better. Quality over quantity is what I've learned. And that's number one for me. So if I can live, you know, at a, at a decent size, I don't have to be the biggest, but you know, at that point, like I'm going to have the, one of the best packages because I'll just keep defining my package. And that's really what it is to be a bodybuilder, I guess. And you're defining yourself and you're building your own body. It doesn't mean I'm going to get on stage and do a competition either. But I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call myself a bodybuilder at that point. Like, you know, I'm just a, a health enthusiast and a biohacker at heart. 
just so you guys know, just just standing next to him at some place or restaurant, the guy's jacked. And the guy's he's walking around the Olympia and he's more jacked than most of the competitors out there. So um yeah, yeah, that's what you get. Um, I'm excited because uh I was told the other day that we are setting up to be at the Mr. Olympia. Yes. And we're locking it in. And so yes. I'm excited that we get to uh, venture out there and, and yes. meet everybody in person. Yeah, it's going to be a hell of a time. So we got a 20 by 30 area this time. Usually we got a 20 by 20. So we've extended that by 10 feet. We're going to try to put a stage out there. I got to go over this, the, the stage planning like this week or next week. Um, I've got Tampa Pro coming up here in a couple of days. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday for that. But what I'm going to try to do is like maybe Monday or Tuesday next week, get the stage layout done because that's all I really have to do. Like everything else I pretty much have all set. I, you know, I got to buy a couple of plane tickets for a couple of people, set some rooms up, you know, and then get ready to ship the things that we need shipped from here out there, which yeah. I've already done before to an Olympia. Thank God. So I kind of know what it, 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 what it entails. T-shirts, all kinds of crazy cool new titan gears coming along with us too as well so we're gonna be uh, doing a ton of giveaways we're gonna have a ton of shirts ton of bags like all kinds of different titan gear like the, the sleeveless hoodies that i wear like so it, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great we're gonna be there so i mean it's gonna be very exciting uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it 60th year anniversary so hopefully this will be a bigger and badder one than ever before we'll see you know a new uh oh, a new location Mona wanted to come up with something like a a, 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 a raffle or something where uh, if you show up at the Olympia and you come to the Titan sure. booth and, and you come in there and say hello to everybody and all that, um, we'll probably do a raffle to where on a Sunday what I'll do is take the winners and go to a gym and, and do a oh, workout with them. I love and that. That's a special kind of giveaway. If you're at that. the Olympia and you come by the booth and say hello to us yeah. um, and, and, and post us up on the page and stuff, I'll be taking yeah. that in there. And it, mine is, is, is free on Sunday. So I'll make sure you guys get in there in the gym and we'll talk training and nutrition one-on-one -on -one and, uh, but, but you got to show up at the Olympia. You got to show up at the Titan booth and right? get some photos with the crew. That's right. That's right. Well, that would be really cool. I mean, that's awesome. That's definitely awesome. I think that's a great idea. I think people are going to be super psyched about that. Super psyched. So, yeah, man. So, Olympia Olympia's coming out. Hey, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> you were a burger king. <laughs> Say hi to Johnny. What's up, Titan? Johnny. How you doing? Hello. Oh, my gosh. I, know. I like your crown. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> little prince! He's fun. That I boy know. is fun, man. We 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 got to go to Tennessee this last week, and uh, uh, with some uh, actually Titan um, uh, yeah. Titan crew members that have worked uh, with the company and and are taking care of their health. And these guys are, uh, I just. They look incredible, um, and and they are also in their uh, late forties, early fifties, and models, elite athletes, and all this stuff. And it, it's great to see how their protocol is going over at Titan, absolutely, um, and and how they're like elongating their careers, not just their life, nice. but their careers. And so yes. it's. I guess it's that old kind of advertising. If if you're making money and you're not spending on advertising or something, then then it kind of goes backwards. But if you spend a certain amount to take care of the company, it mm -hmm. keeps growing. Right. And that's to me like the James Harris approach is: Are they working out? Are they uh, on a good protocol? Are they doing their blood work? And these guys do their blood works every three months. Yeah. Are they healthy? Are they doing their stuff? Um, and what medications are they doing over at Titan Medical that helps them get through the workouts, their brains, and everything? Because these people are also, a couple of them, uh, one one is a, a, a young 30-year-old who mm -hmm. is on tour. And so it's a, a band. And, and they wow. just got back from Europe doing a whole tour. He's nice. back here. They start filming a movie. Um, nice. But, man, the focus... The focus on such a youngster to me, yeah. the, yeah. the thirty-year-old, forty-year-old is young to me. But yeah, 
to see that and go, wow, he's taking care of his health at that age. And you wouldn't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, you know, well, you look healthy. Yeah. Um, his numbers weren't great. Right. And, and there's sense. It, it's, I know you say it makes sense, but I don't think it makes sense to society. I, I, I think a lot of people it doesn't make sense to, and a lot of people think in twenties and thirties, I'm okay. I'm healthy. Uh, it is what it is. And this is how I am, but it's not true, you know? And that's, that's the thing. And people just need, you know, I was talking to somebody about this earlier. I'm like, you know, when I started Titan, and it's still this, it's about educating people and letting them really understand what we do and how we can really help them and how they can help themselves. That's the biggest thing. And I, I think that now more than ever, somebody can take control of their health. They can literally take control of their health. They can get all the reports. They can get everything together. They can have people like us help them. So, I mean, I, I think it just, it takes their action to be able to, to want to do it too. And to realize that, listen, everything isn't okay. Like if, if you have to drink energy drinks every single day, everybody has normalized that. That's not normal guys. It's just not normal. It's not. And it's think gonna about that. That's so big. You know, it's, it's I mean, so true. And, and a lot of people, they get stuck in, in bad routines. They start bad routines and they get stuck in them. And it, it, I, I've done it myself where, I, you know, and me, I don't, I don't, I don't cheat, but like I would order like the, the pink refresher lemonade refresher from Starbucks. And it would just in, in my mind and grain, like, all right, in the morning, I order my eggs. I order this, order my eggs, order this. I'm like, I don't need to be drinking this every day. I like, I shouldn't be drinking this at all. So I'm like, all right, well, this is going to be gone. You have to recognize those traits, but some people get stuck in those, 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 those specific routines. And then, you know, they're setting themselves up for failure and just go down that downward spiral. and They don't realize it. So I think people need to realize these different things, or if there is something wrong, you know, try to see what's going on to fix it. And don't just mask the, the problem. You know, that's Let's another talk issue. About fixing. Let's talk about fixing If, if you could, uh, I got a uh, a Titan crew member and also a, a Titan medical crew. He, he's yep. over there. Um, and one thing that he was uh, telling me about is that he's got some uh, joint issues, some elbows, some stuff like that. Um, cool. He's done some stuff. Uh, uh, I'll let him explain a little bit more in depth on on his body and how he's okay. fine. But I kind of wanted him to see if we could – that's all right with you is, is you talk yeah. to him today sure. and I kind of hear what he has to say. And I think for everybody else that's watching, I think the great thing here is that you understand that people get always, people get little injuries, but there are things that you can do to help take mm -hmm. care of that. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Jeremy Davis. Okay. Jeffrey, you want to bring him in? Hey there, kiddo. Hey, hey, hey thanks, is, for, thanks for hanging in here. Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. What's up, John? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Awesome. So awesome I, like Mike, Mike said, I got, uh, I got started on a bunch of different protocols, I think like in December. Okay. And, uh, man, it's, it's been absolutely incredible. My, I work out with my nutty 19 year old son that Mike's mm -hmm. actually been training since he was mm -hmm. like eight. Um, oh, wow. the kid's a freaking animal. And as I reach my mid forties, I'm having a tough time sort of facing the fact that he's, uh, overtaking me in quite a few, <laughs> in quite a few <laughs> of the weightlifting departments. So mm -hmm. I'm always trying to keep up with him. But, um, that being said, ever since I've been doing the Titan thing, uh, man, I got him in the endurance department. I mean, we'll hit our five sets and mm -hmm. he's toast, like ready to like get more water and go home. And I'm like, man, I could, I could, I could do it all over again. Right. Um, so all that being said, it wasn't like that, right? It wasn't like that before December. It's oh, to that no, level. No, 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 it was, it's, it's been, it's been pretty, that's probably been my biggest, like, like notable change it's just like endurance and energy is really almost indescribably different i didn't notice okay. sort of how lethargic and how like floored i would get after workouts i just thought that's right. what happens you know, it'd right. be little, little by little you get used to it right yeah and then it's like going for chiropractic help for the first time and then you realize what you feel are supposed to feel like mm -hmm. um so yeah with the test and everything it's it's been crazy to sort of 
feel what you're supposed to feel like. And, right. you know, I'm not, I'm not down and out kind of like I used to be, yeah. but I think, I think with that, um, with that has come like really pushing the body a little bit more because mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not tapping out as quickly as I used to. Um, right. I'm, I'm able to hit a couple more heavier sets instead of just hitting one pyramid and then backing it down. I maybe spend a little longer, heavier maybe than I used to. And with mm -hmm. that, um, I've definitely been for about three months now had pretty tremendous like bicep tendon pain and okay. I've been working around it. I've been putting like topical, like CBD, THC stuff. I get at, like yeah. farmer's market on yeah. it. Me and yeah. Mike were talking this morning about talking to you about yeah. trying to figure out some type of Titan protocol that might sure. help with sort of inflammation, aches and pains and stuff like that. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, you know, right now, I mean, you still got, you know, like BPC's component or TB500, and that'd probably be the best for inflammation, even spot injecting towards the area um, as far as that goes. Because, I mean, you don't have a tear in it or anything like that. Like, you don't feel like it's torn. It's just what's sore. Does it get better after a couple of days of laying off of it? Or, I mean, is it still, still pretty sore? It, it's pretty consistent. Like, like little things like opening a car door, like kind of like a, a like a reverse motion like this. Like, gotcha. like I, I was at the airport yesterday, like grabbing my bag off the whatever yeah. it is. And I was yeah. like, ah, like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a notable soreness, but again, it's been okay. for months and it's stayed the same, but I, I haven't, okay. I just haven't done any curls. I'm able to kind of okay. do everything else and not feel okay. it kind of flare up. It's very yeah. specifically kind of like a lifting curling motion that sets it off. You have massage and everything like that. You've tried to use gun on it. Like these are just basic things yeah, yeah. I would say, you know, soak Epsom salt, all that. But it like as far as what we can help out with, that's what I would recommend. Something like that. Even glutathione would help with inflammation. But if you really want the healing, you know, properties those would probably be the two that I would go with. Um, you know, after that, you could think about, you know, maybe raising IGF one levels for recovery purposes. Um, that would help, you know, as far as that goes. But, you know, I, I think if, if it feels injured and you're not able to do curls, I would probably go with like maybe a healing peptide just to see, listen, is this getting the inflammation out? Cause for example, right. So I have, a, a I need a total shoulder replacement. I'm bone on bone. I have arthritis all throughout my right shoulder. I can still lift. Thank God. You know, I'm still benching 275 or 12 going up on my tears, but you know, I still feel in the morning when I wake up, like it, it, it hurts. I ain't going to lie. It, it definitely hurts. Um, so when I go and I do my first injections of the day, cause that's the first thing I do. I get out of bed and the dogs out and I do my injections. Some of the first injections I do are BPC and TB 500. I do them together. And what I do is I inject it right in my shoulder instantly. I would say probably about 20 to 30 seconds later, inflammation starts decreasing. Like I can start feeling my shoulder come back to me a little bit. I can get a little bit more movement without it being so stiff. Um, and it helps me out through my lists. So, you know, that's the only thing that, that has been getting me by per se. Like I haven't even had cortisone in like, I don't know, six months or something like that because I got hy hyaluronic acid injected into my shoulder. And it's supposed to, you know, go where the cartilage used to be, but that hasn't done anything for me. And I couldn't take, in, you know, a cortisone shot six weeks after this. So I'm getting ready for that. But, you know, that's the only thing that's helped me and it's helped a lot of other people. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I would, I would say, you know, from our, our perspective, that would definitely help. Cool. I'll check that out. And you said it's like a, so it's a localized injection. So like, you know, it's, it's, you know, ten the tendon area kind of right in here. So I just. Yep find so, an area yes close so by. What, yeah so what you would do is is so if you like show down your arm right here per se right i'm so with this so if you're like hey it's like right in the middle of my bicep here well don't inject right in the middle like where the pain's at but you can inject like over here or over okay. here or even a little bit lower per se um and then the next thing is well how am i going to inject myself doing that right because I got my arm and then I have the injection needle and I probably need to go subcutaneous with this. So one thing, one trick that another patient brought up to me a while ago and was great, it was ingenious, is you get like those little like chip clips. They're real small. You sterilize <laughs> yeah. it. You pinch yeah. the skin and then it'll inject subcutaneous in that area. So now all you have to do is just place the needle in there. It's very simple, very easy to do. Um, That's smart. You know, yeah, it, it was too. 
And it was just, it's just funny because man, I, I haven't thought of it for this whole time. And like some guy brings it up like a year ago. I'm like, that's ingenious. I tried it out my, myself. I'm like, this is great. You know? So it, it's, it's true because he was having elbow pain. So he had golf elbow. So he's like, how do I inject right here with pinching this and injecting with my right arm? So that's what he came up with. And I was like, man, that's ingenious. So I've used it. I've had a lot of other patients use it. And for those bad areas or hard to get areas, that's the way to do it for sure. That's your, uh, that's your next Titan medical accessory. So you got the water bottles, the all yeah. the stuff you need, you need the yeah. Titan clip, you know, the pinch clip. You know what? I should yeah. make that. Honestly, it wouldn't be very expensive at all. And I think a lot of people would get a lot of great use <laughs> out of it for certain <laughs> protections. Nice. For sure. Well, Hey, awesome. I, I, I really appreciate the insight. I'm going to definitely look into that. And, uh, thanks for everything guys. For sure. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Jeremy. I'd okay. love to hear about See the journey, soon. man. Hope you get Thank healed. you so much. Later. Thanks That's for awesome. that. Thanks for that. Of so it, it's, uh, again, I, I love the fact that the glutathione, which you wouldn't think, but it brings down the inflammation. Yes. And so that's such a, 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 another one of those things. that's a nice little added touch to this. And then the, because I, I know everybody talks about if they have some kind of uh, owie or injury or something mm -hmm. that's the BPC and the TB, but you also went to something I think it's brilliant is to the IGF, just raise yeah. that. Yeah, so, great. again, recovery, Healing's recovery, gonna improve. recovery, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when you start thinking about healing, you think about all the different processes. How can I heal? Is it going to be locally? Is it going to be systemically throughout the body and just as time goes on? So, you know, just every injury is, I guess, different. And listen, I'm not the expert on every single injury, guys. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you every single injury. But what I can tell you is a lot of the most common injuries a lot of our patients have had throughout the years and have used these things. And they've got some great results and, uh, and, and healed in a lot of different ways. So, you know, for me, uh, seeing is believing for myself and um you know having other people go through some of these different treatments and, and what they've accomplished has just been awesome even rod so i don't I, so rodney had like he had to get the back of his nut all the way down and cut right yeah he's healed in half the time the doctors told him he was going to heal with this and the doctors are like what the hell are you doing like we know you're like you know a specimen because right a specimen, right the I mean, right. guys were 50 years old and just fucking jacked at 32 inch waist abs the whole nine so they're like, but this just isn't common, especially your age. So it's just really cool to see some of that. Like, you know, like, hey, listen, I mean, we don't have it like it could be anecdotal, I guess. But I mean, he used it. He healed faster. I mean, he feels a lot better, you know. So at that point, like, it's a win for us. For and sure. Yeah, the, the the surgery he had in uh, just that first week, um, I'm not quite sure what they did to his uh vertebrae right it's like a fusion yeah. vertebrae yeah and so good for him good for him because i've known him since uh, he was saying we first met like in 1990 91 92 at uh, uh one of his shows so is i'm glad to see he's healing like that Me too Me and too. again anybody that's watching uh he had neck surgery um went through the back and everything and uh right. extreme not just a little no, Arthur, you know, it wasn't. And that's like what I thought too. Like I see like biospine and all that. So I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be like, you know, because like, that's how big their incisions are. His incision is like this long. It's, yeah, it's they opened them up. Like, oh, like, holy shit, man. Like, you know, just me. It was it was definitely mean looking for sure. It's cool that this, there's that kind of hope, you know, yeah. just with the peptides and helping you in that sense. And then also making sure that your body's just functioning again like that youngster, you know? And I always say that, are, are you still in charge of the ship? Are you still driving? Are you, are you eating and you can control your diet to where your body changes? Is, is all these things kind of in place? And one of the biggest things is injuries that stop people. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it's that pain. It's like, oh no, it hurts to train. And, and what I love that you're still doing too is you're forcing blood into that location. Yep. It's not yeah. enough to just do the shots. You right. still got to force blood in. You still got to get massages. You got to do the therapy. You got to do that right. stuff. Right. But why not? Why wouldn't yeah. you do it? You got the one. Yeah. I mean, plus you're ultimately taking care of yourself too, right? I mean, that's, that's, I mean, you want to live longer. You take care of yourself. You want anything 
to survive longer than it's supposed to, you take care of it. I mean, if you don't take care of it, it gets run down and you got to trash it. And you only got one body and hopefully one soul. And at that point, uh, you know, you can't just trash your body. You can trash it, but then you got to live in it. And there's, I mean, I guess you could change it over time, but you know, you can run it down to the nitty gritty and not be so well off. Don't run it down. Don't run it down. I now I know that we are how many weeks out are we? From what Olympia? The, the Olympia is geez. So I, I get to do some fun traveling before the Olympia. So Tour. We so got, we got the, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven weeks. Perfect time to do the good, good training. And so what I was saying is, is right now we just got into, I think it is week three, week four now of a total recall. And so people are kind of now in that first stage of like, okay, that was four weeks of very, very intense training. Yeah. What can help me make this next step? And, and I'm explaining to these guys, I think Hercules Potion right now, um, you dropped one on us at the very beginning of this talk. If yeah. if you're starting to feel um, like you need a couple of days off, mm-hmm. this is that 12 weeks that I'm not going to give you that time off. Right. You know, that time off is in the off season. You take it. But now that we're in training, this is your Olympia. This is you going 100%. Right. So the Hermes, like you said, would be an option or one of the five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's four different ECs. Four. Yeah. Okay, um, so one of the four different for energy through the day and clarity. Yep. And then the Hercules Potion and the EAAs, both to help yeah. for recovery, a better sure. workout, and yep. making sure that you're getting your amino acids so you're not losing that muscle. That crazy pump that holds, too. You will be more vascular than you. If you're vascular, you'll be even more vascular. And you don't need to take any of the over the counter garbage, as far as a pre-workout, if you have an ECA and you have these other injectables, there's going to be nothing better. So at that point, you're going to be good. Like even for me, like I take one of those ECAs in the morning and I'm good for the whole day. Even if I trained at night, I'd be fine. So at that point, like it's, so you do take them all, you don't go back home and take the shots an hour before you get it all my bug out bag. If I got to, I injected my car. Like, you know, so yeah, I, 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 you know, I've done this for a long time guys. So at that point, like, you know, for me, like in the morning, you know, now I'm trying to train in the morning. So I'm right. trying to get out and do it before, you know, I get to the office, do all that. So I'm just, it's going to away. So I'm loaded up, you know, as my, my steaks cooking five minutes in the microwave, I load it up and I inject, you know, as far as that goes. But if I'm on the road, let's say I'm here at the office and I didn't go work out and I need to go work out after my live at, let's say six o'clock, I got everything in my bag. Well, I'm ready to go. Like I'll, I'll pull my needles right here in the office and check myself and then head to the gym and be ready to rock and roll. I mean, so, you know, you can do it 30 to 45 minutes before any strenuous activity. I told you, I've got, you know, I've got patients that at that point they're taking it before sexual encounters because they want the girl to think how hard he is in his chest and like all these crazy things. So, um, you know, you can utilize it for any strenuous activity, anything that you do, whether it's marathon, racing, rock climbing, um, you know, your bodybuilding, you got a photo shoot coming up and you want to make sure everything looks big, tight, nice, or even girls calves or plump in the rump, if they want to say, cause that, that was the other thing. It was, it was just funny that, um, so the other day I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in lifetime and in the gym. Right. And I'm sitting there in the cafe with Sharice and stuff like that. And I look over, I'm like, Oh shit. I'm like, I know who this person is next to me and it's this girl. And I'm like, Sharice, I'm like, do you recognize who this is? And she's like, no. And I'm like, Oh my God. I'm like, that's Vita Guerra. I don't know if you know who Vita Guerra is. So Vita Guerra is one of the, the original vixens, video vixens for her booty. That was, that was her. And oh, she's like, you know, gosh. she's 50 now, but she's still got a great frame, great, great following the whole night. She's from LA. Yeah. I do know. Jimmy, Tampa. Yeah. So I seen her in lifetime. Oh my God. I'm like, you know, cause she's been with, with Titan too. So she, I know her really well. I'm like, Oh shit. I'm like, you gotta come out of the office now. Shit. We gotta get some blood work. But you know, there's, there's things like that where, you know, you have, you know, some of the older ladies and stuff like that too, or they want to just get all straight and she's one of them. So 
If you want to last longer, you want to age gracefully, then Titan Medical Center is your answer for sure, 100%, no matter what you are or what you've done in the past. And you're at that stage. Um, and again, like I said earlier, also just make sure that you youngsters get your blood work done so you know that you're doing healthy and you're good and uh, um, everything is rocking and rolling. So again, Hermes um, yeah. for energy, uh, the Hercules potion, again, great, like Johnny says, the pump and yeah. everything. Because we're going in these next four weeks of training a total recall. Um, and again, uh, one that I recommend at at night is the tes Tesla Morlin. Yes. Is that something that they can still do? Yes. That one, yeah, that, that the one's FDA approved, so that will never go away ever. So the this Tesla is Morlin really is big because yeah. most people are trying to cut up on this right. program and they're really trying to do this. And so this is a huge bump. Can you kind of go over again? Just sure. for the, and, that's and, new here. And this was kind of what I was going at with the gentleman that you brought on earlier, raising IGF one levels, right. With Tessa Morellin and targeting visceral belly fat, adipose tissue. So Tessa Morellin, Tessa Morellin is a FDA approved GHRH injection. So what does that mean? It's a growth hormone releasing hormone injection. And what does it do? It naturally produces more growth hormone for you in your body. So it revs up your pituitary from the pituitary goes down to the liver and then it converts into IGF one and IGF one is where you get all the benefits from anti-aging recovery, all these great things come in that conversion. So testimony does that, right? So it's great for anti-aging. It's great for recovery, healing, all these benefits. The next thing, and this is something that no other drug out there does, especially GHRHs, is it targets adipose tissue, belly fat that surrounds the organs, you know, right in front. A lot of people, it looks really bad. Well, this is really bad for your health. So at that point, like you don't want to accumulate a whole bunch of adipose tissue. So this is actually going to start shredding up and targeting that area. And like we said before, like weight loss usually happens throughout the body. It doesn't target one specific area. So for this to do that is a true game changer. And in the sense of one, of just raising IGF-1 levels, that's a game changer. Because that's going to do a whole bunch. But to target belly fat too along with it, that's a killer combination, man. I mean, that's, you know, that's why everybody wants it. Because it's the big bad boy in the block with the big stick. I love it. I did that's, again one of my 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 favorites and go to and really helped me get in shape this last time when we were out there. I guess it was in April now. Jeez yeah, Louise. Jeez, time flies. Wow. It, it was so quick. Um, let's take some questions before you slip out of here, if that's all right with you. What yeah, do we got? Yeah, absolutely. All right. It says how to build connective tissue while being beginner at age of 37. Because my body is speaking of pain in thumbs, wrists, elbows, etc. I mean, at this point, I mean, I know Mike, I think I know what you'd say, right? I mean, you go, go less on the weight, higher in volume, I guess. Try to build up. I mean, because, I mean, you got you to gotta build up these connective tissues like that. If you go heavy right away, you're going to damage yourself, and it's not going to feel good if you're in pain already. So, I mean, I would start light, go higher in volume, really get a nice feel for the exercise or whatever it is that you're doing, I guess. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I think uh... – Volume can be a couple different things. I think one is just uh, getting into the gym. If you just start in your 37, still 37, my friend, that is so young, so young. So you'll be able to do a lot here. Um, and just training slow, controlled. Uh, don't try to rush through the workouts because, you know, it. I love that science is finally catching up with stuff that we've talked about for years and years and years. If there's one thing that you want to do in the gym, uh, the one main leader of this is to build strength, build strength mm -hmm. in the body is, is actually what they are finally kind of coming around to going. This is the most important thing. There's other things that are very important, but the number one thing is building strength. So your body is stronger um, as you age. That's the ultimate goal. So I, I think this is great that you asked this. Um, most people just ask, how do I get ripped and how do I build muscle? But uh, connective tissue is is that longevity understanding of the body. So get in there, get the volume like he's talking about, um, and just keep training smart, slow, and steady. Yep. I think that's I, – I, honestly, I think that's the way to do it for sure. 
Um, you had one more up there. I can talk about the ACG one if you want, but you did have another question up there. The guy paid four ninety nine, so got to give priority to that guy in a second. Um, the ACG one. Does ACG help you sleep? And then we'll answer this next one from Joseph. So ACG, I, I don't know about helping you sleep. Um, ACG is going to stimulate hormones in the body. It mimics LH, so it's a luteinizing hormone in the brain, and it mimics the signal from that to the testicles or ovaries in a woman's uh, case. And what does it really do? So it will raise testosterone levels, free and total testosterone. Um, it will help with some different things as far as that goes. So ACG, when you look for ACG or where ACG comes from. So if you do an ACG qualitative and quantitative, that's how they tell if a woman's pregnant and how far along she is. It's a blood test, right? So ACG. So women that are pregnant have high levels of ACG in their system. And when they produce this, what it usually does is it usually takes all the belly fat from the area and starts supporting the womb area with this. So at that point, it, it will kind of target. I'm not going to say it's going to target, but it will start hitting that stomach area to really pull from there. That's the good thing about ATG. But ATG, they, they want to put you on a strict diet of 500 calories. That's the most notorious one out there that's been documented. And I'd never recommend anybody to do 500 calories. Why would this be? So this, this is the, this is what ATG, uh, the diet is based on. So the doctor that created the ATG diet created on a 500 calorie diet. And that one has been documented, right? So legally, like in, in my business, I can only say straight facts. So that would say like, like Ozempic or Terzepatide, you're going to lose 15 to 20% of your total body weight because that's what the studies say. So with the ATG diet, it's the exact same thing. Legally, you could say... You can lose 20 pounds in under a month with ACG because it's been documented. And there has been a study, but that's based on 500 calories for anybody out there. <laughs> weight loss can happen with a calorie deficit. You don't have to go into an extreme calorie deficit of 500 calories. You know how hard it is to eat 500 calories and that's it. Even if it's clean food, because clean food, you got to eat a lot more of. It's tough. So we usually say a thousand calories if you can stick to that. But usually, I mean, somebody can eat up to 1,500 calories and still lose weight because they're in a calorie deficit. Yeah. So it really depends on the person and how extreme they really want to go. But what the other thing will help you do is it will help you retain muscle too as well without going to a cannibalization type setting. So that's another benefit of it. I've also talked about using this possibly with Ozempic patients, you know, so you can kind of hold on to that muscle without getting right. rid of it. You know, eat enough calories. Right. But, um, you know, so that's what ATG does. So ATG for sleep is probably not going to help you sleep. Now, if it increases hormones and those different hormones are balanced and you're sleeping better because of that, that could be because of it. But directly, ATG is not going to do it. Uh, go with the other question. Bam. Sure. When putting a muscle for eight weeks, where should the calorie intake be? And also, how does that change when it's time to cut down? Also cardio. So I guess he said we're putting on muscle for eight weeks, or I guess I, I, I guess that's how he's saying. So where should the calorie intake be? And also, so I guess what you're you're trying to put on muscle, so you're gonna have to you know go into you know not a deficit, but you're going to have to in, increase the calorie count, and the increasing calorie count, you're going to want to do that on a tier process. I mean, I think that's what Mike would say. I mean, I would go up from 2,000 calories to 2,200 calories to 2,400 calories and so on, or maybe a little bit more in a bump, 250 and 250 and 250. But um, that's what I would do. And then if it's time to cut down, you know, I would, cha I would change the way I'm eating too. I, 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 this is just my opinion, and I'm sure Mike is no, keep going. expert on this. So for me, like if I'm trying to gain weight, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a lot of protein in right? And I'm trying to look at some different foods. So I will mostly look at steak. Steak is probably for me, like the best one to gain on, right? It's not the best one to cut up on. You can still cut up on it, not a problem, but I think it's easier to cut up on chicken, you know, for me. So when I go on cuts, you know, if I'm on a balking stage, it's maybe two, three meals of steak and maybe some chicken in there. If it's a cut, then I'm eating one meal of steak, maybe in the morning. Cause it's my go, my fuel for most of the day. And then I'm eating chicken for the last two or three meals. So that's how I am, I guess. And that, that's kind of where I go. And then if I go into a cut, you know, I don't try to really, I cut down on the calories if I'm up like 2,500 or 3,000, whatever it is. 
and I'll cut down like 250 at a time, like ease it down, get my body, make sure it's like adapting to what's going on. Um, and then kind of go down from there. I might go into an 1800 or 1600 calorie deficit because I usually base mine on 2000. That's what the general nutrition study is. I might be a little bit over that just the way the metabolism is, but that's kind of what I base mine on cardio. I don't do any cardio. Mike loves cardio. I know that because I talked to him all the time. He's always talking doing cardio. So he's, he's got the stamina and endurance of a 10 year old kid. Me, I got some stamina and endurance, but I don't know about that. So, I mean, for me, like when I got down here and I really started trying to put a lot of weight on, I was always a runner my whole life and even in sports, like, you know, whatever. So that was just a part of what I used to do. I used to run a lot. Well, people that have high metabolism and ectomorphs like myself, if you run a lot, it's, your body is like use it or lose it type thing. And it adapts to whatever situations or scenarios you're doing. So if you're running a lot, there's not a lot of runners out there. They're, you know, 220 pounds running around jacked. They're not, there's not marathon runners. They're usually skinnier people. So, you know, for me, like that's, you know, I had to change and do no cardio because at that point, like I was like, all right, I don't want to burn all these calories doing cardio. I want to have some cardio for cardiovascular health, but I don't want to be running and do a lot of cardio. So I keep it to a minimum if I do cardio. And that's like, you know, sexual training with my wife yeah i can't i can't count that 20 seconds of uh <laughs> it doesn't work for me um yeah yeah just taking your um body weight in protein uh make sure that the fats are moderately low uh and then just finish out whatever calorie intake you need to uh, be in a surplus is carbohydrates at that point and then to reverse out of that is just uh, drop the carbohydrates, keep the proteins where it is. Um, and then you can add in cardio as you're slicing, but I would only do that when you're slicing. I wouldn't right. use cardio off season. I would, uh, um, the only thing that throws me here though, is that you said, uh, eight weeks of trying to put muscle on. And to me, plus the question itself, the question is very, um, unanswerable in a sense because everybody's different when it comes to nutrition right um, so it, it's it's not something that you can just cookie cut and say exactly what i said i give you a good scenario um, right that would work with a lot of people um but to just for anybody out there if if you're saying hey for the next 12 weeks i'm going to put on muscle mm -hmm. and then i'm going to cut up body doesn't function that way the, the body needs longer to not just put the muscle on, but to accept it in a sense, right. to uh, keep that muscle on. Because if you're just 12 weeks eating and putting on calories and, and, and you get stronger and you put some muscle on and then you go 12 weeks of cutting, you're just taking that muscle right back off. Yeah, you're stripping it for yeah. sure. Um, now, that's that's if you're bodybuilding, if you want to put muscle on and stuff, uh, if you're just having fun and you want to exercise and do it, then, then I don't care. You can one week put on calories, one week, take off calories. Right. Again, don't purposely try to confuse your body so poorly like this. It's, it's the cardio thing. So we'll just jump on that for a second. If, if you're doing cardio all year long, you guys already know that the it's diminishing returns. Mm -hmm. So you're setting your body up to adapt to something. And now you don't get to use that to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. It's, it's a great question. Sorry that that's just, I recommend for you, Joseph, uh, to get a trainer. Yeah. Cause this just kind of says to me, because you've asked this question and it's a great question. And also I'll thank you for the donation to the pup fund. Um, you're not understanding uh, how this really works just mm -hmm. yet, my friend. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with getting a trainer. There's nothing wrong no. with it. I mean, you, you obviously need a teacher to teach you what's right and what's wrong. Find a credible one. But at that point, like everybody learns from somebody, whether you get it from your mentor or you pay somebody to get it or whatever it is, or you research it and find it yourself. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different tools out there that you can utilize to be able to find out this information too, Joseph. You know, you have everything at your fingertips. You got AI writing business plans, giving diagnoses for patients. They can definitely write up a workout plan. I've tested it. It's really cool. I, I mean, yeah. you know, I haven't tested it per se. I haven't utilized it, but I, I just I punched it in there. I punched in weight. I punched in what my goal was, what I'm trying to do, and how long it should take. And it literally punches out a, pro a program for you to a certain extent, like week one, week two, week three, week four. So it's really, really cool. Like AI is, AI is, is definitely something I've been diving more into. 
And, um, you know, on the flip side of that, I, I didn't get talked about this, but I've, I opened up a, an advertising agency with a couple of guys and we're using AI and some of the different things that we're doing. And man, it's, it's some game changer stuff, man. I'm like, I'm super excited because at that point, I'm like, I'm going to install this in Titan and start using it here. You know, I mean, it's just, it's really cool stuff. So i um, very excited about that. But yeah, you utilize the tools that you have and, and you should be able to find these answers, Joseph, no problem. Uh, a little 20 or 30 rep sets on squats. Yes or no? I mean, I guess if you do them right, you do 20, 20, 20 or 30 reps. Fun. That's what I used to do with 20, 30 uh, reps squats. of squats. Yeah. Yes or no? I mean, why not? Yeah. It's uh, always fun to do that 20 or 30 reps. It takes you to another level. And, Dude, and think about how much more weight you're pushing you in early. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Compounded weight. I, I love it. How to restart the workout or workout routine after seven and eight years of complete gap? I was in a powerlifting and bodybuilding, but start, re, but to restart it from initial stage gives more pain. You got to work around the pain, man. At that point, you got to ease yourself back in. It's like anything else. You know, you go back in, you start low, you start working up, you start building, and you start progressing. I mean, that's that's what I would do. Anytime that I've ever been down from a surgery, it's the exact same thing. Now, I might not have to start from complete zero, like seven or eight years, because that's a lot of time to give off. But at that point, like it's it shouldn't it's it's just a bump in the road. Right. Just go over the yeah. bump at that point. You know, you got to get in there and you got to start somewhere and you don't have to start and be the most, you know, you don't have to do everything in the gym, you know, that day. But at that point, start and get 30 minutes in, start, you know, getting 45 and start getting the hour in and start really training, you know whatever you're doing, whether it's one body part or two body parts, you know, like myself. Yeah. That's compounded too. So you're thinking that you've taken seven or eight years off, but you're also seven or eight years older. Right. So now things have changed even there too. Just say anybody's right. out there. Don't, somebody said the other day, Hey, is it okay to take a month off? It's okay to not lift. I don't care. Right. I understand the point that you're saying it's, it's you're as young as you're ever going to be right oh. this second yeah you're only getting older there's no finish line this is this isn't a test kind of thing where you get to finally get somewhere and go okay i'm done it yeah. doesn't work that way you, yeah. you're eight years older that means you're also eight years off start slow there's it really i thank you for asking but it really just you getting in there maybe just start because you've already been there with the three basic lifts and just do yeah. a monday wednesday friday those three yeah. lifts yeah nothing on there moving yeah. moving and grooving stretching yeah i think yeah that, that's key i mean just getting in there and start start doing some things right start getting the blood flowing start getting back into a routine and then just progressing i mean that's how it is i mean i told peter the other day i'm like listen man i'm like it doesn't matter like you know like because he's like oh i want to get bigger you know i want to take testosterone i'm like dude you know what? no you don't i'm like even if you took testosterone or you took any of these other drugs that are out there you still have to put in the work. You have to get in there. You have to lift. You have to eat. Your body's just not going to grow like that or, or just adapt. It has to be put through the test you he know, does. at that point. Work. He's going to be such a monster when he's he is, dude. He, I, yeah, I was, He's still getting taller. He's I was, still I was, yeah. I mean, I was like, I was so happy to see him the other day. Like, that was like, we've worked out, you know, a couple times and stuff like this summer, but. It was maximum effort the other day. I was like, oh, I like this. Like, I could see this going, you know, where you want to go. So I think he's starting, he's starting to come around where, you know, he's got to do it. I mean, they're, it's just not going to do it itself. So you got to get in there and do it, you know. And uh, that's, that's one thing. Get your kids active early, guys, if you guys have kids. So I love that this guy asked this question here because I, I, I do the El Carno team, but I haven't. And I have it at my fingertips, and I haven't done the injectable L-carnitine. Yep. yep. And this is one that I am definitely doing. And it's, uh, again, everybody that's doing the Titan uh, Total Recall, this would be a great one for you guys. Mm -hmm. Again, another fat burner, another one that's a great amino acid mm -hmm. um, that will help you uh, crush it. Talk to us about, because you can get injectable L-carnitine from Titan Medical. Sure. So yes, l carnitine injections are awesome. Any negative side effects? No. I mean, you have, might have a little redness in the area of the injection or something like that, but there's going to be no health 
side effects whatsoever. So you're not going to drop dead. It's not going to put you in kidney failure or anything like that. It's an amino acid. It's something that your body needs. Let's get that right there. But at 500 milligrams per injection, right? That's a, that's a hefty, hefty dose. Because you get L-carnitine in Hercules, you get it in Titan Complete, you get it in Nectar, but it's at a lower level. You're talking about probably like 60 milligrams that are in there. And then when we talk about L-carnitine by itself, it's 500 milligrams per ml. So it's it's quite a jump. But you get a lot of great benefits from L-carnitine. So like we talked about, muscle building, nervous system, opening up receptors. So if you are on testosterone, helping them with those receptors is going to be a, a night and day difference for you. Just, so that, that, point, that? just that alone, right? But, receptors. I mean, you know, with all the other benefits, you know, that you're getting out of it, I mean, it's, it's definitely a win. I mean, you see it all around. There's a lot of research on L-carnitine too as well. So, you yeah, know, tons. you can look at that, but it, there's tons. So at that point, like it's, it's a really good amino acid injectable to utilize. And if you want the heavy doses of 500 milligrams, as some people do, this is definitely the way to go for sure. Yeah, it's been around for decades, decades, decades. And yeah. uh, something, again, uh, we were very heavy into in the 80s. Um, everybody, everybody was doing uh, L-carnitine. Um, and I, I see a lot of people like uh, we have the world champion that comes out every year. And he, uh, he comes out for a couple of weeks before he competes at the world championships. But, man, he's got his bottles of L-carnitine, you know, before his cardio sessions twice a day i uh, mm -hmm. take it in uh, this is the world champion the current world champion so it's again um i'm gonna go with the injectable though and and get that on the list on the christmas gift gift list for sure. thanks for that yeah, question uh, we gotta one. let johnny go man i'm sorry for holding you up brother you Dude, good it's okay i'm all right are you yeah, okay of course more? jeffrey you got a, a, another one for of this course. man but l carnitine great call i'm glad he asked that yeah, that was a good one for sure. And this is this is me. Uh, I you know I I I've seen this stuff. Mona, yeah. order it. L carnitine injectable. Get on that. Uh, so the other one. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good one. Do you have any information about inflammation near cheekbone area? So no, I mean I, in cheekbone area. I mean, uh, I mean, if you have inflammation in cheekbone area, there might be some TMJ or paid. Uh, that Johnny, I think rent's getting paid. Rent's getting paid. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's yeah. there. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry about yeah, that. So I, I don't know, man. Like if TB TB five hundred BPC one five seven, I would do full information or some glutathione. I, mean, I don't know, and I wouldn't inject in the cheek, but uh, that's just me. Um, sorry, I thought I had a little bit better for that. Be there is another good question up here, though. But before you go, I think I, I don't know if. You, you retain water easily. I don't know if that's something and you just notice it in the face because I can easily, I could go from looking like uh, I could do a photo shoot or a model uh, yeah. with two days of high day. I yep. look like I am off season getting ready for the biggest powerlifting meet in the world. Gotcha. Um, so, and I retain, it goes and it comes first in my face. Yeah. So, it could be just you you retain you just retain it's water. true it's you true know. if you drank the night before i mean there's a lot of different things that can cause that for sure 100%. yeah like you said uh, obviously rent getting paid is one of those things that could cause it <laughs> 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 okay. i'm sorry i'm just having fun guys thanks for hanging out today johnny thank you i think if we can i would like to do another live later this week Sure. If, we can, if you we can open up a uh, your schedule a bit for like on yeah. Friday. Okay. Let me so, know what time. I I will, my friend. And, sure. and congratulations too on the uh, new advertising company. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Flying Goat Agency is official. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of this cool stuff because there's definitely some things I think you can take advantage to in the background too. So super excited about it. Super excited. Nice job, Johnny. Thanks, job. brother. I appreciate Thanks, you guys. Brother. Thank you Talk again. To you